In this Midjourney tutorial, I'll show you how to invite or add the Midjourney bot to your own private Discord server. And if you don't already have your own Discord server, I'll show you exactly how it's done towards the end of the video. Hi, it's Christian Heidorn from Tokenized AI, where I show you how to navigate the exciting new world of AI software. If you see value in this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really makes a huge difference. All of the links and everything I mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. And while you're there, make sure you smash that subscribe button. All right, welcome back. So most likely you've been working within the official Midjourney Discord server all this time. And if you're in one of the newbie channels and you're anything like me, you might have been slightly overwhelmed with all of these messages flying through your screen. And you know, not everybody's a fan of Discord overall. It's hard to keep track of what's going on. Uh, most importantly, your own images. And you can already see what's going on here. There's like just blocks of text and images and everything. It just drives me nuts. Anyway, there's two ways to solve this. The easiest way to do this is to simply communicate with the Midjourney bot directly and just send all your commands through a DM, which you would do by right clicking and uh, sending a message to the Discord bot. And then you could just enter your commands right in here. However, the challenge with this is that it's re it's restricted to members who are subscribers. So if you have, you're on a paid plan, then you can use this feature. However, uh, it's not available to the trial users. The other thing that you can do is you can add it to your own Discord server and then just do it there in your private sort of channel. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. And it's very easy to do this. So first of all, what you need to do is, again, you right click on the name of the Discord bot, sorry, the Midjourney Discord bot here on the right side of your screen. And if you can't see it, then you need to click the member list icon here at the top. But anyway, you look for the Midjourney bot, then you hit the profile button. And then this little thing pops up. And then on the profile of the Midjourney bot, you click on add server. And then you select the server that you want to invite the Midjourney bot to. In this case, I'm going to select test server. And then you hit the continue button. It's going to ask you for some permissions, which is necessary for the Midjourney bot to actually do stuff in the channel and in the server. So don't worry about that. Hit authorize. Confirm that you're actually a human authorized and we're done. Now we go back to that server, which is the one that I had already set up test server. And you can see that the mid journey bot has joined the server. And now technically I should be able to communicate with the bot straight from within my new personal server. Uh, and I'm just going to prove this to you. Imagine um, a big green tree just to show you that this actually works. Let's wait for this to confirm. All right, and as you can see, it's just finishing up this command. We've got a big green tree. We are inside my test server, and the Midjourney bot is one of the two members of this Discord server. Now, if you already have your Discord server, then this is how you do it. If you do not have your own private Discord server and would like to know how to do it, stick around in this video, and I'll show you in the next two, three minutes how to do it. So. Let's create a completely new server, which we would do by hitting the add a server button here on the left. Then you select create my own. Then most likely you would select for me and my friends. Then we give it a name, my private server, hit create. And that's it. Now you have your own private server and the Midjourney bot is obviously not a member, but we could go back to the Midjourney Discord right click profile, add to server, select my private server, continue, authorize all the permissions, confirm that I'm a human, and that's it. And you can do this over and over again for all sorts of other Discord servers that you have control over. Now there's one limitation to this. You can currently only do this with Discord servers that have up to 1000 members. So if it's for your own little private Discord server, that will work. However, if you manage a huge community with hundreds of thousands or maybe just tens of thousands of users, um, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to do that. Anyway, so that's how you add or invite a mid-journey Discord bot into your own private Discord server. I hope you found this video useful, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.
I really appreciate you taking the time to watch the full length of this video. If you found it useful and enjoyed it, it would mean the world to me if you hit the like button. And if you would like to get notified the next time I release a new video, make sure you smash that subscribe button right under the screen. I'll see you next time and take care. Thank you.